Hi there. This is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about Crohn's disease is caused by atypical tuberculosis in your milk. That's a strong statement. Let me put it in context and see what I can convince you of that. First of all, Crohn's disease has increased three, four hundred percent in the last 20 years. Autoimmune diseases don't do that. That's an environmental condition. Okay, you're being poisoned by something. Where is it coming from? Well, second of all, if you look at Crohn's disease, it's made of granulomas. And a granuloma, you can Google it, look at an image. Granulomas are little swirls of scar tissue. And Crohn's disease, the gut is filled with granulomas. Okay, there's only one disease that makes granulomas, and that's tuberculosis. Now, sarcoidosis is another one, but that could also be caused by atypical tuberculosis. Okay, follow the logic here. Oh, there's something called Yoni's disease, and Yoni's disease is atypical tuberculosis in cows caused by atypical tuberculosis. It's hard to detect 1% of cows, America's dairy herds, have Yoni's disease. And there's no easy way to find it until their milk production dramatically falls off. And there isn't a dairy farm under 100 cows in America. And so every time you pick up the milk from a dairy farm, it's been polluted with some of the Yoni's bug. And it takes almost a year before you say the culture is negative. So it's not easy to find. You following me this? So you drink milk and you're a vulnerable person and you might get Yoni's disease. How else can I prove that? Well, what caught my eye was a recent publication in the journal Science that you don't put out cathelicidin unless you have sufficient vitamin D. And we don't have enough vitamin D in most Americans, and that makes us more aware of it. And then you can look up, does pasteurization kill Yoni's disease? And you can say, no, it doesn't. And now there are journal publications showing that if you take the messenger RNA present in the blood of folks with Crohn's disease, you can show that they have atypical tuberculosis circulating in their blood. Is that enough of a picture to make you convinced? I am. I'm convinced. And in my practice of medicine, I have a couple people who've come to me asking, would I treat them for tuberculosis? And with their consent, I've given them rifampin, which affects Crohn's disease and affects tuberculosis. I personally have had tuberculosis and taken rifampin for two years when I was in medical school. So I already have a badass attitude about tuberculosis. But they're a number one cause of admissions to most children's hospital is Crohn's disease. It's time we do something about atypical tuberculosis in our cows. This will happen only if we make political stress to do it. Please do so. This is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about Crohn's disease is caused by atypical tuberculosis. Don't drink regular milk, period.